So I have lived in Roanoke all my life and I had no clue that there was an antique mall right here on 460 near the Dairy Queen and Gus Nicks. Did you guys know about this? Well, we're getting ready to go in and talk to Kat and Heather to see how long they've been here. Follow me. Hey, Rob Jesse here with Eat Live Love Roanoke and Peaks and Valleys podcast. And I'm here with Kat at Roanoke Antique Mall. It's uh, right behind the Dairy Queen on 460 near Gusnicks Boulevard. And to be honest, I've lived here all my life. I had no clue this was back here. How long have you been here? Uh, we have been in this building since 1995. In 94, they had a little barn behind Rock Fab that they would sell out of. Okay. And then they moved here, and, and did they take up the whole space when they first moved in, or was it just kind of little? Um, I think it was it was just this area. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there was obviously near as many booths as there is now. Um, but it was just in this grocery store area, but the owners do own the whole, like... The whole body. mall area. Okay, yeah. okay. And so what all types of things do you have here? Um, we have vintage, we have antique, we have, like, behind us, we have the Blinko glass. Um, we have, like, the Sears mushroom kitchen stuff and okay. the uranium glass everybody's going for, 70s, 80s, stuff like that. Okay. And now do you have a a limit because i know it's an antique mall so do you have somebody that kind of verifies that's antique or do you have like a date set or no antiques over 100 years old yeah. and uh antiques are over 100 years old and uh vintage is over 20 years old uh we kind of see everything that comes <laughs> in the staff and ourselves walk around we shop here a lot so we kind of we keep an eye that way make sure they're trying not to like sneak some stuff in because some stuff does come in but we try to keep it mainly vintage and antique. So what's the wackiest thing that's come in that wasn't vintage at all? Is there um, something? There's been a lot of like homemade stuff that's okay. been like real wild off the wall stuff. Like this guy in particular had this homemade like doll's head that was real creepy mm -hmm. and it was like attached to a frame and like the frame was older so it kind of did go with it but it was obviously handmade right. and it was pretty wild. We all got a kick out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and so for the, the bar, cause the Barbie movie's out. So mm -hmm. you guys have we antique have Barbie? Barbies, okay. Yes. I think I've seen so many Barbies come in just this week alone. And everybody's like, well, we went to go see Barbie that and pink jewelry. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are, you know, dressing up with the vintage clothes too. Cause they highlight the vintage and going Barbie. to the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are coming here to like get their stuff for that as well. I know there's a camper around the corner that my daughter was like, Oh my gosh, I've never, <laughs> you know, and she's 11. So yeah. she's like, Oh my gosh, I've never noticed that. It's so funny. Kids say that all the time. Like Pokemon cards are real big right now too. My little brother collects them. And like the little kids will walk up to me and they'll be like, well, do you know anything about Pokemon cards? And I'm like, let me tell you what, son. <laughs> I used to play this when I was your age. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wow, it's that old? I'm like, yeah. So we have just a little bit for everybody. Okay. And so the booths here are, are individually owned, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Each uh, vendor has a number and it'll say like A, like this is A33. Um, some vendors do have multiple booths, but um, we have about 125-ish vendors. Okay. And they pay per foot that mm -hmm. they have. Yes, it's, per, uh, it's by a square foot. Okay, okay. And then what's, um, what do you think your, your top seller right now here is? Records. Records. Records and this glowing green uranium glass that I don't think a day goes by where I don't ring up one or the other. Okay, nice. And so what, what do you think probably sits the longest here? Uh, hmm, probably like China. Mm -hmm. It kind of like goes through its phases, like wedding season, it'll become real popular. Mm -hmm. um, but China sets aren't going out as fast as they used to. And so uh, I read something the other day and it said that, or just kind of even noticing standing here, most of your crowd, people think of antiques and antique shopping. They think of old people out looking for antiques. Mm -hmm. Most of your crowd's not old though, right? No, we've got a lot of kids like around my age, millennials that are starting to like, like I've seen a lot of kids my age come and get decorations for their house and like old comics from when they were younger. And then even like the younger, younger, like I said earlier with the Pokemon cards, we got like seven, six, seven, eight year olds like picking out Pokemon cards. And then they see the Hot Wheels. So it's, Kind of going closer to the younger crowd now. Okay, well, nice. Well, thank you, Kat. Yeah, no yes. problem.
Perfect. Yeah. So I'm here with Heather. She's a bo in, in her booth and she's also an employee here. So tell us about your booth. I've had my booth longer than I've been an employee. Okay. Um, I started actually in the space right across from us, which is, you can't see, but it's a lot smaller and I've moved up over time. Um, I've always been a vintagey kind of person mm -hmm. and um, I've always wanted my own shop and it just kind of clicked one day. Hey, you should have a booth at the antique mall. Right. During COVID, I sold strictly online and made a killing. Oh, wow. And then uh, online sales just kind of plummeted. Mm -hmm. And so this was the logical next step for all the stuff I okay. accumulated. <laughs> and so do, do you get a lot of traffic in your booth? Or? I do. Okay. I um, always make rent and I always have some left over. So, okay. Yeah. And so tell me about a little bit about what's in your booth. Oh, sure. So I love glass. Um, I love art glass. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a lot of colorful art uh, glass pieces. Um, so a lot of times art glass is like free form. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I know you were just in a glass booth and uh, I learn a lot from him. He teaches me a lot. So I, ha I have art glass. Um, one of the new things that I have in my booth are, um, uh, these are book plates. Okay. So I received um, a, a book from someone and it was an old book of modern art mm -hmm. and painting and it was falling apart. The book. So I just started kind of collecting the pictures inside the book and okay. and these are called book plates and people will buy them and frame them and put them in their house yeah. all right so you have the glass yes um i carry books um mugs um uh mid-century art which i have over here um i love i live in a 1960s house and so i try and make it look like a 1960s mm -hmm. house and so this kind of area of my booth kind of has that vibe okay of like mid-century kind of grandma um and uh very very gold okay yes all the gold plated and <laughs> oh yeah yep. it, uh, the plastic that looks like gold home interior old home interiors i love it i love it nice so. nice <laughs> yeah so that's um that's uh what i started selling online mm -hmm. was old home interiors and okay it's just expanded so what uh, um since you work here, we can ask these questions too. How do we, do y'all guys have an online presence too? Or just, is it all just here? Um, How will they find you otherwise besides riding by and seeing you? We are very much old school. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's not a lot of online presence for us. And it's kind of hard to have that because each booth changes every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just got this um, stand uh, yesterday. Okay. Or, or I'm sorry, this morning. So like this part of my booth just changed today. So we can't really have like a lot of online sales and right. stuff like that. Uh, so we are more in, um, maps that have antique malls mm -hmm. listed because we get a lot of travelers. Uh, so the antique malls, well, somebody found a little toy gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, we're more in a presence of like um antique um books okay uh, uh like um, magazines like they'll put out antique magazines and um these um newspaper type publications mm -hmm. will have ads and stuff like that and okay okay because like i said the majority of our people we do have regulars we have a ton of regulars mm -hmm. but we have a lot of travelers that come in okay yeah and this kind of, and not that it even compares, but it's kind of like the old school. Um, it it kind of reminds me of Happy's, but a little cleaner and a little, yeah, you know, it's not a as. More, yeah, so we try and avoid the flea market feel, but it's hard not mm -hmm. to see Happy's in this. In fact, you'll Happy's has had a resurgence recently, and the flea market's happening behind there. Again. Oh, is it really? Yes. Okay. And I would say four or five of our vendors are avid sellers at the flea market okay and every saturday afternoon they'll be rolling in here with whatever they found at the right. flea market uh and putting in and their, their boots, boots and, and stuff. stuff like that so right yeah yeah absolutely except they're, you're missing all the bootleg stuff that used to be happy yeah, we, yeah, yeah stay away from that but yeah we try yeah. and stay away from flea markety things mm -hmm. Every once in a while, things like that will all pop up, and mm -hmm. we have to kind of be like, "Ah, eh, that's not the vibe we're going." And for you here. guys really like '80s and below, and really like the antiques, but yeah, as far as vintage and stuff. And '90s are especially '90s clothing is mm -hmm. having a really big resurgence, 
and uh, but yes, um, 80s and below is the standard for right now. You okay. always have to grow. You always have to change with the times. So eventually, 2000s will be vintage. <laughs> That's right. My so. son, my oldest son, turns 30 this year, and uh, I keep joking with him that he was born in the late 1900s. Right. And he hates <laughs> it. <laughs> like, man, you're born in the 1900s too. <laughs> He, yeah, he hates it. So, do y'all have Facebook or any? Yeah, anything? we are okay. on Facebook. We will post on there occasionally. We have food trucks on on Saturdays during the okay. summer, so we always post the food truck that's come in and stuff like that. But yeah. okay, and then um, hours. We're open every day, eleven to six. Okay. Yeah. And then, cash, credit card, no Venmos and all that other stuff, which. Yeah. Is, Fine, I don't like all that yeah, stuff anyway. We're, we're, we're very much old school in that sense. I, you know, and, and we all have a different opinion on mm -hmm. that too. I, I see our um, people more and more um, younger and younger mm -hmm. coming in. And I do think we need to evolve with the, the times when it comes to taking, you mm -hmm. know, Google Pay and stuff like that. It's just a matter of... Um, the upgrades and i think security things. too my and the reason why i say is and you know i'm 52 uh -huh. but uh my wife's been hacked like four different times <laughs> on her venmo and, and wow. accounts and stuff so she even had somebody send a hundred dollars to somebody else for a birthday party okay. out of her venmo account wow, so is, yeah. we're, she's like anti yeah. you know all that stuff just yeah. because she's been hacked but like, and she uh, used it before but then all of a yeah. sudden i was like oh no but all of the zoomers that's all they know how to do mm -hmm. is put, touch their phone to to your yep. and pay it and it's done. so like we've had several times where really young people come in and have a pile of stuff and can't and buy it because can't buy it or one of them had a credit card and mm -hmm. so all the other ones had to pay them back you know yeah. It, it's yeah so we we'll get around to helping oh it just takes way. time yeah well thank you for talking with us oh yeah we're gonna put you on youtube and oh, yeah. everywhere else we can we, we can't wait we want all of the locals in roanoke to come and check us out i i would say at least once a day people say i didn't even know this place was here mm -hmm. i had no clue you had no clue. i mean I, I, when i drive by and i go down gus nicks a lot and yeah. i go down 460 but yeah i had no clue it was exactly a antique mall. and i mean it is it's huge in here that we're old um grocery store mm -hmm. and we fill every single uh bit of it so that's yeah. awesome well thank you you're welcome thank you all right we just talked to cat and to heather and they are dog friendly too here so definitely check them out and if you're looking to move to roanoke and or want to buy or sell just let me know we'll have a conversation